Hello, I'm Malta, and this is a lovely little oil and panel by E. Barthé, Esprit Barthé, Maltese painter, and it's painted a Maltese scene. The thing about this picture, which is unusual, is you've got a primary object in the picture, which is chopped and chopped off. It's not a case, this is not a case of an artist doing a big picture and then cutting it down to size. It's, it's, it's deliberate, and it's quite unusual to see, to see that. Um, and to a degree, with the headland of Angelo, St. Angelo, uh, the finger of land, which is known, otherwise known as Burgu, you've got the, the nose of the promontory cut off and the, the landward side in a way. But it works very, very well. And if you're buying a picture, generally speaking, it's a cardinal, sir, cardinal sin to have something like that chopped off by the painter. For example, if you buy a picture of a church, and you have the whole church with a beautiful spire or dome, it's a bit annoying if the weather vane's missing or the cross is missing, and um, it, will, it can spoil. It can spoil a picture, and it can ruin a picture, and, and crucify the, the value of a picture. But in this case, it's part of the picture, and that shows a confidence. It shows a skill. So we've got this lovely oil on panel. It's a piece of ply, plywood, and it's been framed, perhaps 20, 30 years ago. But, but it's obviously quite a, a good early version of work by this artist and he's painted this, this rowing, multi rowing boat and it's the, it's the type of boat which they have in the harbour still taking passengers from Senglia and Virgo up to up to the steps of Valletta and these pins are where they, they lash the, the oars and then the row used to stand and row with the oars crossed in quite a slow, methodical manner, and now they have motors and sometimes they have a sunscreen. But but that is a traditional moti, Maltese boat, whether it's a Dyson or, or Lutz, I don't know. Often have carved decoration and other elements, sometimes an eye, sometimes other colour. But um, it's a lovely thing, it's not a fishing boat, it's a lovely thing, and they're, st they're still there now. And this, this creek is a, is a marina, Grand Harbour Marina, and they have the super yachts at this end and then the other yachts down the other end. So if you go to Senglia now and look, at, look north at the south side of uh, Angelo, you'll see the ramp, the gateway, you'll see what used to be called HMS Angelo, it used to be a swimming pool up here for the, for the, for the sailors, and there's a bell on the top. You'll, you'll, you'll see it's pretty much the same as it is now other than the, the modern boats. So we've painted a, a Maltese boat, half of a Maltese boat, He's put a, shadow, um, a reflection in, a face reflection, and he's used a limited amount of colours. So it's very, very spontaneously done and skillfully done. A little bit of blue in the sky, but not a lot. But carefully painted antennae on the top of Angelo. And um, you've got a, quite a sultry, sort of moody, mellow, chill painting. So this artist went on to do lots of abstract, blocky, semi-cubist style pictures of the Maltese landscape and the Maltese landscape does suit the depiction like that with the squares and he's, he's done quite a lot of different things but this one is a pretty much a, liter a literal picture, a realistic picture and I think that the um, block blocky abstract, semi-abstract paintings were, were later and some of them are quite, some of them are quite big pictures and they're really very expensive. And, and he's done, also you'll, you'll find small ones as well, of course you will. So, so there's, a, there's a variety and a range, but I think this, this, this artist is rock solid for your collector. And um, I think it's a very alluring picture. It's beautiful, can't quite express it any better than that. You, you can see that it's got a lot that's going for it. And we have this for sale in Malta and uh, if anyone wants to look, wants to look at it, it's in Nashar. Thank you.